Hello and welcome back. It's time for us to escape this prison and get back to where we belong. Let's go. This is where all of our, our thief training came in handy. We're getting our stuff back. I wonder if the whole reason they removed our armor for this stealth portion was so that people that didn't, like, know that armor creates noise wouldn't just instantly get caught. It was nice of them to give us some food and some savior snaps and some stuff to help our vision. Let's see if we can't take this boy out. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. It... The guy over there saw me, but the guy close to us didn't see me. Is he hitting the guy on my shoulder? Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. See, that was the tackle animation. All right, kill me. Damn, bro. Why am I not dead yet? I've been, so, I told you guys last episode, I think, or maybe it was the one before that, that I've been trying to learn to edit, and I do think I may end up editing most of the videos from now on. Um, I, I need to go into OBS settings and split my audio tracks, because even if I don't, like, add in a bunch of cuts and... Like, I could cut out this loading screen, for instance, but it's also a great time to talk. But, um, even if I don't add in a bunch of cuts, I want to go through the audio sections and kind of equalize the audio so there aren't, like, any spikes that blow people's eardrums out. That was one of, like, when I was learning, or w as I've been learning it, the first portion of the uh, tutorial was basically you learned how to do like a edit for a very short video and they taught us how to equalize audio and how to raise audio of specific clips and stuff like that and I, I feel like that would be very useful for this type of content. Because I don't want to... I've, I've been there... You know, I've watched YouTube videos in the past. Do you see that? Wow, he saw from so far away. Lol. Um, you call that combat? Just, just kill me already. Um, but yeah. I've, I've watched a bunch of YouTube in the past. And it was just... Right, there would be massive high points in the audio. And there would be really low points in the audio. And it sucked. Specifically, I think I've watched Critical Role, and that's a D&D channel where they have like this crazy D&D &D campaign. It's basically like listening to a book, but be read by four players. It's awesome, right? Critical The Critical Role campaigns are awesome, but the first campaign on YouTube, it has constant high points in the audio that almost where the players are they throw a roll and they're like yes yes and they blow your eardrums out so if you're like laying in bed trying to listen to that shit 
your eardrums get blown out, you turn down the audio, then you can't hear anything, and then you turn it back up, your eardrums get blown out again. It's constant, like, up and down. And, it, like, that's what I mean by I want to equalize the audio of my clips. No one uses... Honestly, it would be kind of nice if YouTube could do that, if you could choose that option. But, eh. Heck, when I ended up, when I was watching that Critical Role campaign, I ended up just turning on loudness equalization on my computer and turning the sound down just so that I wouldn't have my eardrums blown like every minute or so because it was giving me a headache and hurt my ears. Where the fuck is he? Let's go over here and just wait for him. Wait, where? We'll get him. I'm not leaving without my gear. End of story. We'll take his torch too because I can't see. Oh wait, I don't have the, the Nighthawk potion anymore. Saw shadows move. There we go. Got him. Now, obviously, I don't want to take his gear because my character will be over encumbered. I just want his lockpicks and his torch. Maybe not even his torch. I can't even see him. Lol. Anything. Oh, Groshen. I'll take that. No lockpicks. Hmm. Okay. Now I kind of want to save because that was hard to do. Take all. We're going to save really quick. Save scum. Yep. Okay. Now. Inventory. Food. Marigold and Nighthawk. Okay. Now we should be able to look around and find the lock pick to get our gear back. I could be wasting my time, too, to be honest. I don't actually know if there are any lockpicks. There we go. <laughs> now, there may be an enemy in that tent, is why I'm picking up that sword. I don't know if there's someone in here or not. See how it's very easy? It, it wants us to get our gear back. We're going to take care of this. Where is he? Oh, is this where I was tortured? Imagine having a torture chamber in your office, lol. Alright, which one's mine? Hard... Hard. I'm gonna say it's that one, but who cares? My gear, I'm here. Ooh, I'll take that. A Kutenberg Curis. A Raven's Beak. A Pad Foot Potion. I kind of want this stuff. Henry the Thief is back! Who knew all of my experience being horrible would help me out in the end? Take all. Thank you.
There's me sword. There's me bow. Where's me arrow? There's me arrow. That's a pretty good curious. I think that the reason these enemies have such good gear is to kind of help gear us up. All right, we must lose 20 pounds. Well, oh well, it was cool. Henry is ready to slay entire camp. Henry Smasher. Nah, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to take the easy way out. I don't think there's any point in us killing these enemies because, um, we... There's no point in us killing these enemies. Because we can't hold their gear anyways. If I remember correctly, it's this way. And and there's I, why I'm not even worried about my stealth. Is because if I just run, I'm pretty sure I make it out. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene. Hey, who's there? Wow, bro. Overloaded. I'm not overloaded. What? I shouldn't be overloaded. Wow, that's a lot of bandages. Let's drop 20 of them. <laughs> that did not do much. Sort by weight. Mm. Damn it. There we go. I hate that I can't see. I'm pretty sure I can just sprint if I want to. Because I've been here before. I've explored this area. And there's other ways to get out. Like, I'm pretty sure I can just... What's that? What's going on there? Come here. Come on. Ah. <coughs> to hell with you. Ah. Gone weak as egg. Ah. Ah. Well, I know. A pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. You call let me, that let me go. Please. Please. Stop getting stuck, bro. Alright. Now we're just gonna sprint. Okay, I got tackled by a guy that wasn't even near me. Nice. I'm pretty sure last time I just killed everyone in the camp. There's the pile of poop. Stand. Unlock. Unlock. Bro, what's happening? Why can I not go over? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look buggy at all. I hate how it, whenever they tackle me, it causes my screen to look straight down. Oh, there we go. I had to hit E. 
It's a door. You can't just jump over it. Hey, noobs. Let's get some archery skills. Nothing? Oh well, whatever. Where's my horse? Can I not call my horse in combat? Okay, I need to go that way. Probably fast travel. It's actually kind of hard to see because of the rain. And this terrain is really bad for walking. Let's go. I guess we're just gonna escape through the night. It's weird that we've got the constant combat sound. I don't know if we're being chased. So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Get lost. Did you really think I'd reward you for betraying the people you betrayed me to? Go to hell. I'd be thankful you're still alive. You bastard! You gave your word. You think you can cross me and walk away? Think again, you rat! Huh? Bro, they, they really should have, like, thought <laughs> about the fucking combat on the side of the cliff. It's weird that that was our meetup location if there was the potential for combat. Get fucked. You traitor. Any word about your boy, Radzig? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me given the balls that he has. Now I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow, Henry. <laughs> Father. <laughs> I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. <sighs> Looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. Huh. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer Spit any it. doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. <clears throat> And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rebel of his! 
That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Tamburg. Sir Tell him Divish. to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranig tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. I'll go and get ready to ride out. 525 grass again. inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. I thought I was supposed to get a meal in me. I'm hungry, Henry. No wonder Henry's always hungry. Hmm. Oh. oh my god. What the fuck? Why is my sword out? Why is my torch out? Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. <laughs> Ain't nothing to ask. I have to go and see Sir Divish right away. Otherwise, they won't get to Vranjik in time. Oh, there he is, my favorite horse. Yeah. Yeah, we'll head to, we'll head to Divish right away. Right away. There will be no delays at all. None whatsoever. No delays. Woman. Oh my god, I love not being able to talk to the NPCs because they're opening a door. Look out. Ah, she did. Fuck. Fuck this game sometimes, bro. Fucking hell. I just wanted to come here and clean up my armor. Oh my god, quit opening the fucking door. What's wrong with you? No. Oh my god, I hate this game. You? Okay. Oh, you're not a bath maid? I want a, I want a bath. The fuck is this shit? Oh. Sometimes this game is just a bundle of frustration. Like, that is absolutely infuriating. <laughs> oh, man. Not being able to talk to the NPC. Then having the NPC while they're opening a door. I'd like and to then make having the NPC open like eight doors in a row, bro. I've, uh... That can be arranged? Fine. I'm sure... Goodbye. <gasps> now, I'm pretty sure that oh. that cleans our clothing. Oh. And oh. our, uh... And our armor, and gets it all stitched up, is why I did that. I'm pretty sure it's the best option for cleaning your gear. Let's check. Yeah, our gear is clean now. Oh no. Shit. My dog is sleeping under the wheels of my chair. It's always a pain when he does that, because... 
You know, it's dangerous. I, I move half an inch and I could hurt him. Yeah. Wow. Talmberg is far away. No. It's nice just being able to skip the random encounters. Really, it is. What? What the fuck? Bro? Am I screwed? Am I fucked right now? Huh? Why would they make it time based? Why would they let me sleep and eat and then make it time based, bro? <sighs> I, I'm gonna try and walk. Because I imagine that that fast travel just advances time yeah. too fast. Because I'm pretty sure I could get there in less than one in-game hour. Yeah. And fast travel takes just a long time. I guess that's the trade-off. Let's go. Hey, look, a pig. Good thing me horse is fast. We haven't really done much horse racing this playthrough. Yeah. I enjoyed it on my first one. I wish it was a big I wish all of the side stuff was just like a way bigger part of the game. Like the horse racing and the fist fighting. I wish the, the fist fighting was like a main quest. Almost. I wish the hunting was better too. Um, the hunting quest is cool, but go here, get rabbit meat, go here, get deer meat, go here, get rabbit meat. It's just, it's kind of like, eh. Yeah. And, and meat in this game is super heavy. Maybe if I could like have a, like a horse and a cart or a carriage or something that I could pick up goods and... Yeah travel around with that would be cool but hey so that yeah. way we'll go up here then we turn to the right yeah now if i don't make it this time yeah. i guess i'm just gonna reload to before my bath yeah. Is this the right way I'm supposed to go? No, it's not. All right, to the left. Yeah. It's up this canyon right here. That's all we need to know. Oh, I hate bushes. Yeah. Hello, I've been down this road before. I think it was actually off camera though. I think I ran into a NPC up here that was dead and then someone came out and it was like, boy, you killed him. And then I, then I messed that guy up. <laughs> they were trying to scam me. Yeah. Uh, I, I spilled, uh, spilled some soda on my keyboard, yeah. and I'm using my backup keyboard right now. My backup keyboard sucks. Yeah. I'm just waiting for my, my good keyboard, or my main keyboard, to dry out. I've cleaned it up already. So 
so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it dry out for a couple of days. Um, yeah, it should be good. You know, it it was working when I unplugged it immediately uh, when I did this film. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. I dis since there was uh, sugar in what I spilled, I disassembled all the key switches, yeah. and I'm gonna relube them all so that they don't have any stickiness in them. Yeah, I could just get new ones. Key key switches aren't that bad, but I I'd rather just yeah. relube them. It's a shame too, man. It all I I've spilled a drink in a keyboard in like two or three keyboards yeah. now. Over yeah. since I've started playing video games on PC. And it always happens the exact same way. It's whenever I put a drink in between my mouse and my keyboard when I'm watching YouTube or something, I try to move my hand from my mouse to my keyboard. It happens the same way every time. And You'd think I would have learned by now, to be honest. Thankfully, though, in those three spills, every time my keyboard has been just fine. Right? Like, every keyboard I've had has lasted many years, despite the fact that it's been spilt on multiple times. <laughs> uh, I think that we're getting close to the Let's end of the game. So I'm probably going to uh, end this episode here and we'll do the next battle in the next episode. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.